Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about bioimaging for disease diagnosis. So bioimaging in the sense what imaging all of you know taking image. Okay, that's it. X-ray is the imaging technique, right? And uh, other many techniques are there which can be just imaging techniques. So whereas what is the difference between imaging technique and bioimaging technique? Imaging te uh, bioimaging technique in the sense you are going to take the image in real time. That means in living cells image only you are going to take and also you are going to evaluate how exactly the cells are behaving okay understanding the cells uh, the cells when they are moving proliferating differentiating or uh, if any movement is there in the cells that can be identified in real time for example in ct scan and mri scan you might be you might have seen so in those are called as uh, no, bioimaging techniques so bioimaging is the use of bioimaging technologies to visualize biological processes and structures in living organism that means to understand the to visualize you have you are going to make the imaging technique which will visualize the processes process whatever the biological processes are going on and structures in living organisms structures in the sense that if i want to have an uh, image of brain inside the brain what is the structure like that and all i can have so or lung image i can have the structure of the lung image anatomy all other stuffs so next it plays a very crucial role in disease diagnosis by providing detailed images of the body's internal structures and functions so by imaging is why it is so important because we can have a real time image where it will give you how exactly our internal structures and the functions or the pro biological processes are going on understand so that is very important on, uh, to, to detect a particular diseases or to identify whether our body system or uh, systems so organs like kidney liver heart is working or not even including brain all those things can be done by using by imaging with the, with the help of by imaging so that can be uh, so by understanding all these things obviously it will help the healthcare professional to identify and as well as diagnose a wide range of disease and conditions what is diagnose as I told you in medical uh, field there is only two terms diagnosis and therapeutic in the previous class we discussed so diagnosis to detect disease once you detect the disease that will become as a diagnose for example imagine he is diagnosed with cancer that's how you, you, might, have, uh, you might have heard that means he is diagnosed with a cancer in the sense he has been detected cancer in his body understanding so diagnosis in the sense of detecting the disease okay so we can identify uh, so that this particular imaging will helpful to understand our inside and uh, internal body structures and functions and also it will help to identify and is as a diagnose the particular wide range of diseases and conditions inside our body so examples some examples of bioimaging techniques used for the disease diagnosis is includes x-rays ct scans mri pet scans ultrasounds and optical imaging all these things come under our imaging techniques so these technologies can be used to visualize the wide range of the structures and functions which is in, inside our body including bones, tissues, organs, blood vessels and even more. So we are having the uh, comparison here, we are having imaging technique, this is the x-ray and analyze structure conditions, advantages, limitations. Here in x-ray, bones, fracture and lung conditions can be analyzed or visualized or understood. Okay. Advantage is what quick, widely reliable, widely available, relatively low cost. That every X-ray, every hospital, it will be there. So limitations, limited uh, soft tissue details, uh, exposure to radiation. That means uh, whenever you go with the go for the X-ray, obviously there is the, uh, you can't uh, be uh, no you are allowed you are not allowed to open your eyes or the you need to hold that board why because of the radiation and it cannot give the uh, image of heart uh, or any soft tissues kind of stuff for example next is ct scan it is computer ct means what computed tomography scan so here an advantage means where you can use for for the understanding the organs visualize the uh, uh, in taking the images of the particular organs like brain uh, you know uh, lung any kind of organs and next bones blood vessels tumors and all Whereas advantage is, is, uh, is detailed imaging good for trauma cases. That means for accident cases, for very trauma cases, very uh, emergency cases, they will use for th this device, uh, this, uh, this thing, CT scan. So exposure to the radiation not suitable for the some patients because CT scan uses radiations. 
MRI, MRI also it is for uses for soft tissues, organs, brain and tumor. Excellent soft tissue uh, contrast is there in MRI where it cannot be found by any other imaging techniques. So long scan times restricted for some patients. Okay. So next speaking to the about a uh, PET that is a uh, uh, positron emission tomography. So here it, uh, it comes under here it can be used for the understanding the metabolic activity like cancer and brain to study all those things. Here advantages it detects disease at cellular level that means at cellular level in the cells if any diseases are present it will detect. So it is kind of advanced for MRI. Next limited anatomical detail requires radio radioactive tracer. Okay, anatomical details are given uh, limited here. Ultrasounds, ultrasounds, organs, fetus, blood flow. Okay, where when the per woman, woman is pregnant, usually you go for ultrasounds, right? So real time imaging, no radiation exposure here. Advantage, Ad disadvantage, limited penetration, operator dependent. Uh, that means it cannot go in deeper. If you remember our module four, what we studied, I have explained it. Next. Optical imaging, cellular and molecular processes. Okay, at the cellular and molecular processes, it is non-invasive. Advantage is non-invasive, high resolution imaging. That means uh, it doesn't require any uh, in, in contact. Okay, patient contact lens is not required, or any surgeries are not required. Next, limited depth penetration restricted to the surfaces. Only restricted to the surface because there is no contact. So that was about comparison of analysis performed by the few important techniques. Next, technological importance. So, what is the technological importance of this particular bioimaging technique? So, it can ability to provide uh, detailed images of the body's internal structure and functions. The same, this sentence is copying, uh, you copy and keep in your brain. It can be used for many uh, terms. So, in, in technological importance, introduction and even advantages and other stuff. So, some of the key factors are there which are advantages in bioimaging include improved accuracy. Accuracy will be more. So that internal body structure resolution, high resolution image we are taking. So it can help healthcare professional to identify the subtle changes on that means normal small changes also can be identified and more accurate diagnosis can be given. Okay. Next early detection. So we can detect the any disease in the earlier stage itself. So that they are often more treatable because for example, if it uh, example you can take is as cancer. If it is in the uh, in first stage or second stage, it can be treatable. If it goes for third and fourth, it cannot be treated. Even if you treat, there will be a lot of consequences. So to detect early stage, we can go for bioimaging. Next, multimodality bioimaging technologies can be combined with the pro to provide a multimodal view of the uh, you know, body's internal structure. So that different different structures you will see inside uh, in different different angles, you can visualize the your particular organ. And we can also study how it functions, which can provide more comprehensive understanding of a disease condition so that we can treat it better way. Next, cost effectiveness. Many bioimaging technolo uh, technologies are relatively low cost in structure, but which makes them accessible to a wider range of patients. Minimally invasive. So, here again, since it is not, uh, most of the patients are not in contact, but uh, in the, with the patient, so they are minimally invasive or non invasive, you can say. So, uh, they, this makes uh, less painful or less risky than many traditional diagnostic procedures. Next, improved patient outcome. So, by providing healthcare professionals with uh, all the, these particular image data of uh, uh, for internal body structures and functions, by imaging can help to improve the patient's outcomes so that we can give the better understanding, better treatment. Better treatment, patients can be treated better so that patient will get uh, outcome will be better so that he will get healthier faster by enabling earlier and more accurate diagnosis and as well as more effective treatments. Next, advancements in research. Obviously, bioimaging technology has got to find a very important in advance and medi advanced medical research by providing detailed images of body's internal structures and functions which will help researchers to build a different understanding and uh, underlying mechanism whatever involved in the different diseases so that we can have that this particular uh, new treatments or new method of treatments or we can also come up with new drugs and all. So advantages, non-invasive, high resolution, early detection, multimodality, cost effectiveness. All the importances will become as advantages and drawbacks requires expert definitely we cannot use normal doctors or uh, usual general doctors cannot operate it. You need a radiologist and then complex, okay, complexity is involved, sometimes costly, okay, some degradability will be there and even some of the uh, 
uh, scans like CT scan and MRI scan requires patient you should not be moving if it is kids they have to go give anesthesia so that kid has to be uh, sleeping so that there should not be movement when uh, whenever they are uh, taking image no so movement should not be there if uh, your body moves uh, imagine you are taking a brain scan and body moves if the head moves then there will be error in uh, imaging so artificial intelligence for disease diagnosis we will discuss in the next class